After the success of Godzilla Save the Earth, the final installment of the Pipeworks trilogy was put into production and on December 5, 2007, Godzilla Unleashed was released in North America. This game was released on PlayStation 2 and Nintendo Wii. Before I go further into this review, I just wanted to talk for a second about our community. I love seeing all of the comments and suggestions, it's really great seeing all the interaction. For a while we've had a reddit page, but until now it's been kind of dormant. I'm hoping we can use the current page and we can keep the discussion going. I also want to be able to better interact with everyone. I can put polls on there and ask the community questions. It will also help me better gauge what people are enjoying and what they want to see more of, so help me help you and join our reddit. A meteor shower rains down on Earth and impacts the climate drastically, causing huge earthquakes. The fallout of this destruction is shown on each of the maps you play on. Monsters begin attacking cities around the world as a result of crystals growing on the ground. The monsters end up forming into different factions with a total of four. There are choices within the story that impact relationships between the four factions as well as events later on in the story. The Vortex return to invade and use the crystals to take control of Earth, until their mothership gets knocked out and crashes into San Francisco. It is also Revealed that Space Godzilla is trying to enter New York through a wormhole. In the end, there are three endings based off the faction you choose. If you are the alien faction, Vortac Queen Vorticia laughs out in victory. If you are the mutant faction or you get all the power surges, crystals spread at a dangerous rate and the monster takes over the world. If you choose the Global Defense Force or the Earth Defenders faction, the monster is thanked for its bravery and the world starts to become normal again. Even though you can defect from your faction as an alien or a mutant, the ending will always be the same. There will never be an ending where the aliens or the mutants save Earth. The monster roster for Godzilla Unleashed is different for both the PlayStation and Wii versions of the game. The Wii features 26 playable monsters, whereas the PlayStation 2 only has 20. The exclusive monsters PlayStation players miss out on are Godzilla 1954, King Caesar, Varan, Mechagodzilla from the 1970s, Biollante, Crystalac, and Titanosaurus. Batra, on the other hand, is an exclusive to the PlayStation 2 version of the game. Another interesting difference between the two is that King Ghidorah looks like a hybrid of his Showa and Heisei designs, whereas on the Wii, he looks like a hybrid of his Millennium and Heisei designs. Gigan bears his Showa design on PlayStation 2 and his Millennium design on Wii. Obsidious has Orga's moveset on PlayStation 2, whereas on Wii, he has his own unique moveset. In addition to new monsters, there are also some new locations now deformed by the crystals like Tokyo, Osaka, Monster Island, Sydney, San Francisco, London, Seattle, New York, and the Mothership. Godzilla Unleashed has similar gameplay as Godzilla Save the Earth on PlayStation 2, whereas on the Wii it's completely different obviously because it uses the Wii Remote and the Nunchuck, which for some players can be more challenging. I played this game on Wii and I found the controls not to be as fun as a traditional controller, which is sad because it has a large monster roster. I also don't like how the maps are destroyed by the crystals. I wish you could have had an option for a normal city map like on Godzilla Save the Earth and the destroyed map. Now that's just my preference. I personally prefer the maps of both Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee and Godzilla Save the Earth more. I did like the story, I thought it was interesting, the graphics are not improved, and I would say they're even worse than the previous two titles in the trilogy. This is especially sad because as you go on, the graphics should always improve. Coupled with the fact that you're forced to play the Wii version of the game for the larger roster, I think that this is the weakest entry in the series. I think if you want to play the game, or you haven't but played the other two, try the game and judge it for yourself. Fans newer to the series should start with either Destroy All Monsters, Melee, or Save the Earth. Both are really great games and are the high point of the classic and nostalgic Pipeworks trilogy. I'm giving Godzilla Unleashed a 2 out of 5.